close and you can get this right. a little shaky in the camera work. Steady with the, with the kayak is kind of tough at the same time. Look at these big giant scratches and all these marks under the water, these triangular marks and jaggedy. has kind of a zoom in feature so I can fresh. The rock being freshly exposed along here. This is water access only. Look at that. Today. So I think I showed that yesterday. Anyway. Back again. The solid looks really super fresh. Triangles there are just sort of an up and down triangle. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm going to be shooting all the tiny cameras since my other one died. Look at that. Scratch marks. It's taking out the chunks straight, straight in the middle of the frame. This camera doesn't have as much versatility, so uh, and all the red. Look at all that red. Everywhere it's been, everywhere the nest is, there's just red everywhere. Everywhere. And you can see the triangular marks. This is, again, this is a... Uh, got a pathway. There's a log right there, but hey, we'll see if it's moved when we come back sometime. It might just float away. Look, there's a rock right up on that. Sort of a beige-colored rock with a, with a notch out of it. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Right there. Just sitting there. Just sitting there been chewed on, been carried up here, but this whole area here is, I mean, it's obviously a nest, and look at it, hollowed out again, semicircular, underneath there, nice and, nice and cozy, and then scratches all over this rock, just, this rock's been destroyed, and here too, this one that I'm right next to, look at this, look at that, the red, where chunk and slice out of the rock. What is that red? It's always around where this thing has made its mark, so to speak. Um, yeah, but this is definitely a nest. I might even be able to get out of the kayak here. Grab that rock over there. Let's we'll see. the battery on this one. Yeah, I'm going to leave that beige one. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get out of the kayak. The water is sloshing around here or whatever. Um, but in the meantime, I pizza stoned this one. You can see the bite mark out of it. That was in the water just over there. You can see right down there in the water. circular bite out of it. That's a big one right there. That's a big one. Big bite out of that. Right there. Under the water. This one was right next to it. Could be a piece of that rock. Matches the other bites and rocks I have. I've collected. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see what I can do with that one. It's too big to carry, but wow. Okay, I managed to get this rock kind of turned around facing me, but I'll see if I can move this camera over to show it to you. Like it's big chunk taken out of it, sort of a double triangle. Big bite taken out of that. It's a big one. A big bite. A big claw rock or whatever. And then I can see all the rocks. There's again triangles everywhere and there's that beige rock over there. The whole thing's been just cut out. I just came from all the way over there. That's where the cave is, back over there. And there's a lot of trees that go around this without many rocks. And I saw across the way, big, I'll see if I can zoom in with this, big old slice and a big triangle, a shape, whatever, slice in the rock. That's like, oh man, that's, 
that's eight or nine feet high. The one on the left, the slice, that's right through the rock. And then the A shape next to it is, again, five feet on both sides. So I'm heading over here to take a look at it. Let's see what I find. I'm getting closer. I mean, look at that big slice right out of the rock face. As I'm getting closer, I can see the jaggedy marks on the rocks. I don't know if you can see with this camera, but I'll, I'll try to zoom in. Like a W shape on that. And a big chunk taken out here. And next to it, little slices in the rock. Like there's a couple of slices on that rock right next to it. See that? A shape uh, slices right there. Big slice through the rock. And lots of freshly exposed rock along here. Jagged marks. Big chunks of rock just taken out. And there's a nest right over there. Look, access, easy access, a ramp right up there. Yeah. Okay. That big slice out of the rock there. Kind of not semicircular, but it's curved. And up in the rock face, there's a lot of destruction up there as well. See some claw marks in the rock. It's a pretty good little camera. I haven't ever used it for this purpose. Anyway, I'm going to head back to that nesting area I just saw. Look at this big slice in the rocks. And like I was saying before, look where it starts, right above it. And then drags right downwards and then takes out that triangular shape. And next to it, there's a triangular shape as well, but it's just the face of the rock that's been exposed. This is the flat area. Look, you can see little rocks around there. Been chewed on like usual. A little treasure there. And then more rocks. You only see these small rocks that have been chewed on. Claws down some rocks and chews on them. You can see again triangular marks, jagged marks on the rocks, sharp points, triangles all over this. I mean, this is a uh, a lovely little nest, you can see. And it's got a ramp. It comes right up. It sits right there. And it's got another one, like a switchback, zigzag. It goes up that way as well. I got the scratch marks in this rock. Big. Those are three feet, two feet, three feet. And then the scratch marks in the rock itself. But look up here, jagged. Fresh rock exposed. This flat area along here. All along, it's got a, a little pathway that it can take. Once it goes up that little switch back, it's up on the second level. No fuss, no muss. You can see all the destruction along the face of the rocks as well. And then all up here, this whole area up here. This 
flat area right here. Look at that. And it's got a nice little ramp to come up on this side as well. Big boulder to chew on. And underside of these rocks. Scratched as well. Yeah, that's a nice little flat area to sit on. And it leads right up into the woods. This is not as big of a climb. You can see the scratch marks on the rock. Right behind it, you can see big slices in the rock. Claw marks as it's gone up the side here. Oh, there's another couple triangles. There's one right there. And then gouges. All these darkened areas. You can see where the shadows have crossed. Big chunks taken out. And then on the face of the rock. up in that big claw marks. Cut right through the rock. Let's see something up here. Just kind of cruising along. Fresh rock exposed. My shadow. And then look up here. Yep. All along there, just jagged chunks taken out. Like just clawed out that whole chunk right there, scooped it out. And then took out chunks step by step. In its way, see, pathway. It's made this pathway. Look at that big slice. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's fresh. Big, jagged gouges in this rock face. That's not natural. It's made a pathway straight up here onto a little flat area where you can sit up and look over and on this side as well up into the woods and I'll be showing you as I'm continuing this series around Powell River showing you where it's going into the woods in certain areas. I've collected 20 rocks now just from walking around Check this out. Ah, yeah. Hold on. This thing right here. It's a big chunk of rock that's been taken out. And you can see within that chunk, you can see there's a slice as well. So not only is it taking the chunk out, but then one of its claws nicked the inside of the rock. This freshly exposed rock. Mark. This whole little area around here is. You can see on the other side. Let's go around the other side. You can see. You can see. Again, a little ramp leading up into the woods. A little stepped. A little nest with claw marks all over the rocks. And fresh. It's 
freshly exposed dirt. Like a little hollow. That indentation right there is a nest. And you can see scratch marks. The rocks. Claw marks right there. Yeah, those two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, those two slices right there, right through the rock. That's his claws. And all along the face of this rock. There's sort of a semicircular cut through that rock. That's about three feet tall. And on the underside, you can see all the underside, the jagged. This is a, a point, I don't know what it's called, Tony's Point, I guess, Tony's Point, um, but it's pretty much straight access from the water right up along here. You can see just claw marks all over the face of this rock here, the triangular marks, just claw marks all the way up. You know, if you look close, you can see even the little slices the rock but just all these little a shapes little teepees um, anyhow it's a just flat basically if the water level is even higher it doesn't even have to do anything it just comes up and this whole area is it's playground I guess you can see on the rock fresh rock exposed I sound like a broken record. Fresh rock exposed. And then on this rock over here, look at this one. That's incredible. Look at the giant slice down the top of that rock. And all over it, just triangles, cut marks. Yeah, so it just comes up right up uh, out of the water. Zip. Up you go. This whole area. I've come to this rock. You can see. Look at that. Fresh rock exposed. I have rocks like that with smaller shapes just like that. Taking the top layer off rocks. This thing's been just ravaged by something that comes up right through there and goes back there. It's a nest right through there. You can see the claw marks on the rock as it comes up out of there. These two of these. Big. I can't get myself back from here. You can see this. area. But, uh, look at that. You look at it from a distance, you can totally see how large they are, or some of them are. And that slice, look at that, right off the top. Right off the top of that. Look at that, a little V, a little notch. And then there's a drag that goes right straight down that side. You can't really see it from this side. But all that freshly exposed rock. The one up there, you can see the back end of that rock up on the, on the hill there. Got a big old slice off the back end. A beach. A beach. Look what we have on all the scrapes on this rock. Holy crap, look at that. A 
beach. Guess what we gonna do? Here we go, folks. Heading over. Here we are on the beach. Already, you can see little slices, triangular A shapes, and rocks that have been scratched. But look at this. Look at this. Look how flat this is. Okay, right up out of the water, out of the beach, and it's all flattened down. Something has gone over this and flattened the area down. All the scratch marks and the triangular shapes and everything. This is so flat. It's like a patio. It's like a patio. Okay. Let's see. Hold on a second. Okay. Coming around the other side too, and again, look how flat all these rocks have just been, these big rocks have just been flat down. out of the water slicing the rock as it goes See it kind of, kind of bends a little bit, and then scratch marks around the side as well. Along here, took this piece out. Yeah, this whole rock, anyway. This patio. Boom. Look at this. little camera. Good camera. Got a good battery. Still going. But hey, all this is flat. Look at the triangular shapes right there. Look at that. Oh man. The rock is just destroyed. Someone's taking chunks out of it. These shapes in the rocks. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's going in the collection. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to take this over to the boat. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. Come on with me, little guy. Uh, let's continue on our way. This is a new area. Got new rocks. Let's slice. Wow. Okay, well, it comes up here. You can see. It comes right up here. We'll walk up. Get our footing. And then look how flat it is. Smoothed down. And gouges claw marks in the rock. Smoothed down. Comes up here, right off the beach. Wow. And again, this rock has just been a big old chunk taken out of this rock. And the 
this area up here. A nice little secluded area for it to just come up and sit and chew on stuff. Look at this little, little indentation here. And then up here. Such, but the rocks have been wrecked. Someone put some rocks up here. Someone, maybe. There's much. I mean, these are probably chunks from the rocks being taken down. Nice lush grass. And whenever we see that, we know what we're looking at. I see the triangle right down there. On. Look at that. Coming right up out of the water. Wow, you can see the steps it takes in this little thing area where it can just come right up. Claw marks coming all the way up, slashes in the rock. That big piece of rock right there. Been chewed on. take this with me but you can see I've got rocks like this in my possession that have and this is taken off of those rocks down there and carried up here but this is just sitting here by itself just sitting there and carried up let's see that triangular mark right there wow gouge marks in the rock scratch marks big triangle there Lashes along the rocks. Semicircular kind of a cut through the rock like that. And then a big chunk taken out. So that's probably that whole thing came right out. The whole section. Maybe the other way. Maybe it went like this. Anyhow. into the water, right into the water you can see and the fresh rock exposed down there. Got to give out go in the water. <laughs> Probably showed this from the water. The battery's getting low on this one so see the jagged marks and the rocks and it's in the water. this for now to preserve the battery on this camera but back in the boat As we're heading back to the boat here I saw a big, big footprint big claw print in the rocks and we're heading back so we'll see oh well, coming down to this flat area again and then going back we can see a big slice of rock I got a 
lots, lots of rocks like this at home. There's a, a section that's been just taken out. Anyhow, getting back. Started there, okay, started at that point, right there, took this whole section out, four inches across, whatever, gouged that right out, and along the sides of the rock, claws its way out of the water, let's see, I broke this entire rock, I you can see it, but right in half. Took this chunk right off of it. Well, it's just here. Let's push it into the water. No, we can't do that. But yeah, all the way down here. I cracked it all the way down. It just comes out of the water. Here's one. Triangle chunk taken out of that. It just pops right out of the water here. Came from over there at Tony's Point. Gathered my rock. Check that out, man. Whoa. Perfect. And then heading that away, back towards the cave on the other side. I'm more on the eastern side. This is, uh, we're looking south right now. And then, uh, getting back to Tony's point there. And then across around there was the cove. And then further along towards the sun was the hike area where I did three hikes along across from the Shingle Mill restaurant. And now we've come to an uncharted area with so much evidence, it's unbelievable. Okay, shaky camera work. This camera is actually still holding a battery so yeah. I'll be bringing it with me as a backup now that my other one seems to be getting so old the batteries are dying quickly so heading back towards the cave area and across the lake heading south let's go onward it's so peaceful out here nice Heading back, and you can see this big old slice in the in the rock. It comes right up. You can see the tip right at the top, right there, center of the frame. That's the tip of where it came. Look at the triangle there. Then, if you go back, you can see it's come all the way down. That's how big that is. And then. If you look at this whole section, okay, where it's a little bit lighter in the center. Look, it's shaped like a big A triangle. That whole section has sunken down. Am I suggesting that something was large enough that it cut a big... 20-foot slice 
in the face of this rock triangle there, put a point starting there and then going all the way down. But it also took out the entire, or pushed down that entire section of rock. So it's sunken down. Anyhow, you can see a couple more like slices, but from a distance you can see that's a big slice. And there's the cave right there. Anyhow, losing battery. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll leave that with you. How big were these things? Wow. Enjoy, folks, and for God's sakes, look up. Hey, this is going to be a, an addendum to this. Look at this. A pathway smoothed down. Goes down here and ends in this little oasis. But look, it's got a drop away. You can see. There, like a slide, and then it comes down here into the water. It's been smoothed down, indented. But check that out. Big slice. Big claw there. And let this come right over the top of that edge and then down here into the water. Little slices everywhere along this rock face too. Chunks taken out of it. That one right there. Big slice taken right out of that rock. Anyway, just thought I'd show that to you. The big, uh, the big slices in the top of that rock there. It's taking a whole section down. Look at that. Wow. Sharp claws. Those are big ones. Took that whole thing right out. Like you can see, this pathway that just goes right up the side and it's all smoothed down. Now that's the thing, is it's just smoothed down for so how long was something slithering up and around this to smooth it down like that? Hundreds, thousands of years? claw marks all over this rock face and a nest that's up there I'd love to get up to that anyhow it's getting on the sun is going down time to go in before we get eaten alright like I said for God's sake look up <laughs>